Hey, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyper Stamper. What you're looking at here is a set of five books, uh, but I want to show you something cool that I've made. It's a junk journal. I've used the spines of these old books and I made a junk journal out of them. I just love it. I think it's really, really cool. And I put a tassel down the side, like a bookmark tassel. And uh, these are all vintage books that uh, I just couldn't turn into journals. And I think it's really fun. I did put them on. Uh, the base is an antique book and uh, it was very plain. So here we go. Let me show you the inside real fast. And then I'll do a slower page by page for those of you who want to keep looking. So just uh, everything in here is authentic, antique and vintage ephemera. Everything in my Etsy shop, where this will be momentarily at hyperstamper.etsy.com, will be um, free shipping in North America. And yeah, I don't use any commercial products at all in my journals. And whoop, there's a little tag down here. That is from 1895 there, a huge full page spread on that. So these are all children's book pages. This is actually something I'll show you right now. I turned this into a little notepad and it is a, um, a little vintage wildflower book that I've long since used the pages from. But I just love the little cover. So I made that into a little notebook. Hold on, I'll just quickly show you the rest here. It is just absolutely stuffed full of fun ephemera and clusters and real pieces of old um, ticket stubs and tags and book pages and crochet and lace and just everything, dictionary pages, music sheets. Look at how fun that is. Just stuff. So this will be on Etsy momentarily. And if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to show you every page of this book more slowly. This one here is a vintage dictionary page, the letter I page. And that's a piece of crochet there, vintage crochet. This is a really fun piece from the 50s. And I love the ad on this. It is uh, the Bell Telephone Company. And uh, every house needs several phones. <laughs> and now it's sort of like every person needs several cell phones. Look at these fun little patterns on the back. A delightful piece. And of course, the theme here is books, because you know. A, uh, I pulled these little sentences from an antique book. They were just so delightful. And I just wanted to use them in a page. And I thought this was the perfect journal for that since they came from a book. And just some vintage bits here. These are the original first pages of the base book. Sorry, went too fast there. Um, vintage uh, embroidery. There's a 1956 stamp there from Monaco. I, that might be Princess Grace. That would be pretty cool, right? Uh, little mini stamps here tucked inside a larger journaling tag. And more vintage crochet, children's book pages that are just lovely. A hidden spot under some vintage upholstery fabric. That's from the 1800s. Isn't that wonderful. And this is fun. A little ad from the early 1900s. Better buy Fry, Fry's Cocoa. We still have that in Canada, Fry's Cocoa. And there is a page out of the Scottish Highlands book, a little plate there, beautiful. A piece out of a 1951 yearbook, the Honor Society. And on the back, it is the visual aids. Funny. A little bit of space there and there to journal on as well. Hidden under, oh, 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 oh. Not there, very hidden. 1940s Theatre Arts Magazine page. Look at the sewing machine pieces here from this vintage sewing book. It's so fun. There's that 1895 page I was telling you about. Actually, let me open this up for you because it's very, very cool. So this is October 1895. I'm just going to be very, very gentle here, but look at these advertisements. Look at this boot advertisement. Wow. $1.47. Uh, <laughs> wow. Pianos. Uh, fine suits for little boys, the ones that only come to their knees because that's what they were allowed to wear. No long pants for boys until you were a man. And then look at this. Wow. Tar soap advertisement. Look at this lovely lady down here on this Ruger home advertisement. Just, oh my gosh, so wonderful. So whoever gets this, that is a real treasure of that. Look at this lovely teeter-totter, children on the teeter-totter here. I showed you that already. 1930s, fuzzy children's book page. Look at these 
Chicken the Duck and the Owl. So cute. This is uh, from Pickwick Portfolio from The Little Women. I love that. And this is a great photograph from Jim Anderson's car, 1929. Isn't that great? Oh my God, I love it. This is a receipt from Brock's Milk Company uh, in 1953. An antique page made into a journaling card with an antique stamp on there. Antique paper here. More old, old clusters there. And this is a vintage playing card. And another really sweet um, book page with antique paper on the back. Look at this wonderful Fables and Fairy Tales elf image here from the 30s. Little belly band here from 1920 banknotes there. And this is a... A jacket cover from the 1940s, Crime, Mystery, and Detection. Look at those wonderful colors. Just fabulous. I made another journaling tag here. And this box is actually from an antique box that fell apart. I think it was one of the hat boxes I got. There we go. And here is a wonderful little window tag. And more fun clusters up here. A typing instruction book. Another fun cluster up here. This is another book advertisement in a 100-year-old book, the Girl Scout series. More little children down here with their books and embroidery. And a little bit of spine there from a book, antique book. And a picture of a cow in a newspaper. This is the egg section of a 1950s Betty Crocker recipe book. And these are wonderful. Look at these pages here from the art education book from the 20s. Really cool. There's another wonderful journaling tag here using antique and vintage ephemera. Little kids skipping here. I love this old scotch tape. I don't know why I like old scotch tape. I think it just means they wanted this page intact so bad that they just taped the heck out of it. And I love that. And then that's a little vintage bit up there. Yeah, so there we go. I hope you love it as much as I love making it. It's really cool. And I'm going to make more. And I think I'm the, I Googled to see if anybody else has made anything like this and I didn't see anything. So uh, enjoy. Hope you subscribe.